Hey guys, welcome back to my channel EG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this looping text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So as always here we are in adobe after effects let's create a new composition and height width should be 1920 by 180 and composition name i'm going to name it as main animation uh, frame rate is 30 and duration is 30 second and bg color is white and simply hit ok go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title section then i'm going to press ctrl n to create another composition i will call it as n dash m like this and width i'm going to choose 300 and height should be 180 only and frame rate is 30 duration is 30 and simply hit ok and don't forget to click on this title selection so you will get this kind of grid now select your text tool and type whatever text you want i mean you should type n uh, for this animation and for the font you can choose whatever font i'm going to choose poppins bold version select this text press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this select this text uh, and right click new and create one null object select this null object press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and align it vertically now select this end text and make it apparent with this null object now this null object is going to animate our text position etc so select this null object press p for position and let's bring this totally up to here like this and make sure the top of your text should touch this line and let's make this fit select this text press p for position and create one keyframe zoom in a little bit go to around 20 frames like this and go to the align tab and choose align vertically like this and go to around one second and create another keyframe and in middle of these two keyframes i'll select this null object and i'll move this over here like this so we'll get some bouncing stuff okay then go to around 1.20 frames create one keyframe go to around 2.10 frames and let's bring this downwards and make sure the bottom of this should touch this line go to around 2 or 10 frame forward and create one keyframe and again in middle of that we will bring this upward okay and select those keyframe uh, and hit f9 let's select this first keyframe go to the graph editor zoom in a little bit and let's go to the start let's select this by holding shift move this handle over here and select this and move this handle over here select this adjust it like this like this like this and like this so if you see we will get this kind of animation again we will select this graph hold shift move this over here and this over here select this move this handle over here and this handle over here this handle should be here select this and move this handle over here so if you see this animation now we will get something like this now let's go to the start select this null object press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u go over here and let's make this one complete rotation select those keyframe and hit f9 like this but if you see it's going to start animate from the start only so we don't want that so let's go to the graph editor i'll select this graph hold shift move this handle over here like this so we will get this kind of rotation again we will go over here i'll create one keyframe over here go over here and let's make this two and again we will select those keyframe first we will hit f9 let's go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift and move this handle over here like this so if you see this animation we will get first this and then this okay so now we have to do some animation for this text also so i'll go inside this not transform but text over here you will get this option called source text and let's make this enable this animation motion blur for this text 
and somewhere around at this point i want text should change it so i'll create one keyframe at the store source text hit page down button and instead of m i want m so select your text tool select this text and type m over here like this okay also we need to change the position of this one also so select this text press p for position create one keyframe hit u let's go over here and this text should be properly at the middle so i'll move this over here like this okay so if you see this animation we'll get something like this now again uh we want uh text should be again n so i'll create one keyframe at the source text over here hit page down button and copy the first keyframe of source text hit ctrl c ctrl v so it will change the position i mean uh, change the text and uh let's create select this position keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v right click keyframe assistance and time reverse keyframes like this so if you see this animation now we will get this then we will get this okay so this is for n and m then select this composition from project window and hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit enter over here or you can simply double click to open this hit ctrl k to open the project settings and over here i am going to type i dash o and simply hit ok then let's go to the start and over here let's delete this last keyframes over here for this text only we are not going to change anything over null object all we need to change is over here so let's delete these keyframes also we don't need that so select this text let's type i over here and let's go to the start and select this text and let's properly bring this at the center and you can press ctrl alt home also to align the anchor point properly at the center like this okay so at this point i want change in text so i'll create one keyframe at the stroke source text hit page down button one for time and let's see make this text o like this then select this position keyframe go over here and let's bring this properly at the center like this and you can select this and you can move this over here also like this so you will get something like this so you will get this kind of animation for this text and i'll select those keyframe i'll hit ctrl c ctrl v over here right right click keyframe assistance and time reverse keyframes okay so if you see we will get something like this and something like this over here then select this i and o and hit ctrl d double click to open this hit ctrl k to open the project settings over here i'm going to type c dash v and hit ok and again we will delete all these keyframes for this and change the text to c select this text press ctrl alt home let's go to the align tab and you can choose align horizontally and let's go over here create one keyframe at the source text and one keyframe at the position hit page down button and change the text to v okay so if you see we will get something like this and over here i don't think we need to adjust the position anything but if you want then you can select this and you can bring this properly at the center if you want and let's move those keyframe over here like this let's go over here select those keyframes hit ctrl c ctrl v right click keyframe assistance and time reversers okay so this is for c and v and select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit enter and you can type e dash e and hit ok double click to open this let's go to the start delete all the keyframes of text and let's make this e select this text press ctrl alt home and go to the align tab align it horizontally and we don't need to change anything over here now let's go to the main animation and first we will bring our nnm and let's move this over here then we will bring our eye and let's move this over here then we will bring c and like this and then we will bring our e over here like this okay and select all of them and let's try to adjust their position like this so we will get something like this okay 
let's go to the nnm or uh, it should be properly like this let's go to the ino i'm what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select hit control a control a to select all of them and let's go to around 10 frames and let's move this over here and let's increase the duration of this like this then go to the cnv we'll go to around 20 frames select all of them and let's move this over here and let's increase the duration at the start let's go to the e select all of them and let's move this over here and let's move this like this so if you see this we will get this kind of animation over here so at four second uh, it's gone my animation is gonna end so i'll hit n over here like this now right click new and create one null object i'm going to select all of them and i'll make it apparent with this null object select this null object press p and let's bring them over here now press ctrl r for your ruler and we will bring one line which is gonna be our guideline for this text let's select this and create one keyframe over here go over here and let's bring this over here like this so if you see this animation now we will get this kind of looping text animation to our entire animation stuff like this okay so this is how you can create looping text animation and press ctrl y and let's create one not black but white background and hit ok and let's bring this over here right click new and create one adjustment layer and you can as always you can change the color of them whenever you want you can change the black and white to white and black and you can change the color of this text also so yep this is how you can create looping text animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned